Okay, who the fuck was using my camera? I know who was. Imaginary friend. One with the three fucking eyes. Seriously? I come home and my camera's set up? You're recording again? I'm going to watch it. I'm going to see what's going on in it. And my boyfriend, fucking Draven, will see what you've been doing and believe me. I'm so sick of it. I had to go to the psychiatrist after my performance the other night due to being completely humiliated by an imaginary friend who could call yourself a friend, took up all my time, was singing to the crowd a song about gays and straights and some other crap. I could not believe it. I watched the video and there you were. Draven still could not see you. Are you serious? Are you serious? I'm so freaking over it. I don't know what I'm going to do. More medication, more medication, pills, pills, pills. That's all I know to do to make you all shut up and disappear when you keep using my camera and making your movies. I got a job. I'm not going to talk about what kind of job, but it's a job. Jobby a job. Draven's happy. I feel like my heart is breaking. Everything around me is shattering. Story of my life. But whatever. Who cares? Whatever. Draven's like, oh, yay, you have a job. And I was like, this is the last ditch effort kind of job. I'm working at a call center. I'm serious. A freaking call center. I'm in hell. Hell, I tell you. They, like, train us for, like, a month. And then they make us answer phones. And then it will all be dark and tragic. I wanted a job more my speed, you know, something retail, selling fabulous things to fabulous people. Or like something creative with art and music and poetry. Or, you know, something more my soul, my heart. But we have to make ends meet, and since Draven can't work a job that pays enough to support us both in this damn economy, well, you just have to sometimes do things that don't sing with your heart to make it get by. And I have to be up during the day. Can you believe that? I will no longer be a night owl. I will be 8 to 5 p.m. I'm serious. I don't know. I thought my art and magic and craft and abilities and power and beauty would make me somehow survive by charm and beauty and I'm repeating myself, aren't I? I'm just so upset. Ah, uh, it would be like working at a fast food restaurant, except it's telephone ringing. <sighs> anyway, what the fuck ever, we'll go see how it goes, I'll try to make ends meet, help Draven out, <sighs> and hopefully this medication and this banal job will help the imaginary friends dis a fucking peer. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of seeing trash that imaginary friends are making. Draven thinks I'm schizoid now. Great. But you know what was weird? That whole crowd at that performance saw the imaginary friend. They heard him sing. And it was on the video. Draven is the only one that cannot see the fucking imaginary friend. I'm like, really? 
Maybe you're the one that needs pills and not moi, okay? Well, whatever. I hope I have another performance one day. I hope this didn't ruin my career. What career I have. Well, I better go soon. I actually have to go to bed so that I can get up early and answer phones for people who don't know what they're asking and are angry and just want to scream at somebody because their life sucks. Why couldn't I be famous by now? I thought I would be someone. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. Fuck you, YouTube. Fuck you and your lucky lives. <laughs>